2020 for our new gazebo that will be used as an outdoor classroom for South Country students and staff. Before we begin, I'd like to welcome our special guests today, Mr. Ryan, Allegra Ryan, and Cecilia Ryan, and also Mr. Bond, our superintendent. I'd like to welcome Mr. Caruso, who is the carpenter who actually built the gazebo. And I'd also, Mr. Elwood isn't out here, but Mr. Elwood was a wonderful asset as we, uh, as we built this. Um, also, I'd like to welcome students, staff, and parents. Since I've been the principal here at South Country School, our beautiful courtyard has really been underutilized. And really, it's such a great space. And then a couple of years ago, one of South Country's teachers, Mrs. Olson, had a fantastic idea to create an outdoor learning space for students to learn. And now, thanks to a generous donation from the Ryan family, we have a stunning outdoor space to inspire students. Personally, I can't wait to see our students out here writing poetry, conducting science experiments, and working on art projects. Did you hear that, Mr. Faffy? <laughs> the possibilities are endless. And once again, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and your family for this generous donation. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Bond, our superintendent. I know last week he was ready to thank the weather gods, but today we lucked out. I don't need that. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to thank, I would like to thank those weather gods for giving us a great early November day for this special event. Thank you, Ms. Grosso, for the kind introduction. And I'm glad to be here today at South Country School to kick off the use of this wonderful outdoor classroom. On behalf of the Board of Education and myself, I'd like to thank the Ryan family for their very generous donation, which makes this learning space possible. It's gifts like yours that help, that help us supplement the experiences we're able to provide for our students. Can we get a round of applause, please, for the Ryan family? <laughs> the level of dedication and creativity demonstrated by our staff here at South Country School continuously impresses me. The teachers are always willing to allow students to take risks and think outside the box, something that's so important for our children as they develop. Such an environment would not be possible without an administration and support staff that does everything they can to nurture it. Thank you, Ms. Grosso, for that. Everyone here works together to ensure the best possible experiences and outcomes for every student. It's truly a wonderful, it's wonderful to see, and it's a truly a wonderful place. So it's a tribute to you, Ms. Grasso, and your staff, so that's great. Now this learning space will allow uh, that to grow. I can't wait to see the creative and innovative ways that our teachers will find to put this space to use. At this time, without any further ado, I'll turn the program back over to Ms. Grasso so that we can start the ribbon cutting ceremony. Again, thank you to the Ryan family. Before we actually cut the ribbon, we have two student speakers who are here today, Victoria and Amira from Mrs. Olson's class. They've prepared something. We are happy to have an outdoor classroom. We are excited to be able to learn outside. For example, we would like to learn about nature. It would be neat to be in nature and learning about it at the same time. We also think it would be cool to do painting and poetry outside. We can base our poem off of things around us. Running outside would be fun because we can get a lot of inspiration from the outdoors of Jean Pinkett, George, and E.B. Way. Catching the ducklings in the spring will, and writing about them will be exciting. We are very excited to have an outdoor classroom. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan. Thank you. 